guys welcome back to another what i wore this week slash weekly vlog this week is going to be a busy one i had quite a stressful weekend trying to get work done and my head was just not in the best place yeah i managed to get a start on my sketchbook which is good so i've done a few pages in that today is monday and i have my favorite business lecture today so i'm going off to that in a bit i have about an hour i think already had breakfast um i'm debating whether to do some sketchbook work or wash my makeup brushes <laughs> I mean, we all know which one is more important, <laughs> but my makeup brushes are pretty gross. Let me show you my outfit before I leave. I've got on this really snuggly jumper from Zara, and then I've got my Bershka wide leg jeans on again. It's because I'm going to be sat down like all day, and these are the comfiest things ever. I'm going to wear my Nike trainers with this look. And then possibly a little lightweight jacket over the top. I don't want to get too hot though, because I've got a long sleeve on under this. That is my outfit for Mando. Mando. I think I am going to give them a bit of a wash. I always feel a bit cleaner when everything's been freshly reorganised in my makeup bag. Tip it all out on the bed and make sure I'm not using things that I don't need. Also, things like my hairband that I wear when I do my makeup. This really needs a wash. So let's go wash them. So to wash these, I just use this baby shampoo. And then I've got my weird hand thing that I just put in the sink. And I get to washing. I have this ready to put them all flat. got back with a food shop and I thought I'd show you guys what I got because you guys love watching my other one so I'm gonna shout yeah it's a funky angle okay so this was really not the healthiest of food shops just putting it out there I mean uh, it's that time of the month and I also was stocking up on like baking bits so I got loads of the basics chocolates again um got some trees up I've been obsessed with cheese and chorizo toasties at the moment. Some sugar, baking, green beans, and asparagus were both on offer, so love these two. Easy peelers, some onions, and some pink lady apples. And I'm too hot already. <sighs> I don't think it's quite the weather for long sleeve tops just yet. <laughs> okay, and then I got some cheesy Doritos because Amber had cheesy Doritos at her party and I just remembered how much I love them. And also Walker's Chili Sensation Crisps. I don't know about anyone else, but I think they've changed the recipe because they don't taste the same anymore. I also get cravings for Cocoa Pops and I they were four pounds for a box. And I was like, so this was like £1.60 for the Sainsbury's own one, so I thought I'll give them a go. Then Twixes were on offer, got some Bourbons, these are like 40p. And it's all stuff to just fill up my cupboard, I don't eat it all at once. Um, chocolate digesters, Sainsbury's basic ones are the best. Not the blue ones, the basics. I got a little cottage pie ready meal, I like to have one ready meal, like available in case I really don't have any time to do anything that week um, on a random day like Wednesday I'm going to London so I might get home and I might be really hungry and so I'd probably just have that some more cheese for my toasties oh I've got some more baked beans they're also on offer it's a good day when beans are on offer and then I picked up some agave nectar agave 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 I don't know how you say it but it's like a natural sweetener so I'm going to try and put this in my porridge um, in the morning. 
And then finally some butter for baking. And that's my little haul. Now I have to go and take this to the kitchen and put it all away. Also, I don't know if you've realised, well you won't have realised. So the other day I spilt blue paint on my carpet somewhere. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I spilled blue paint on my carpet, which is really annoying. And I've decided I'm just gonna have a uni side of this carpet. And then when you turn it over, it looks exactly the same. So when I've finished with uni and I have a nicer room that's not just being painted in all the time, then I will just flip it over. It really wasn't that expensive as well, so can't be too precious about these things, can ya? Had to be bright blue as well. <laughs> Like the one time I use bright blue paint and it goes everywhere. I'm doing some sketching on the floor because I've been sat at my desk all day. And sometimes I just really like working on the floor. In my weird frog position. <laughs> guys it's Tuesday and I'm about to go into uni this is my outfit for today I've got on this blazer coat from and other stories I love this so much and then underneath I am wearing just a long sleeve thermal thing from um, Brandy Melville my jeans are ASOS and then my shoes are my Nike Air Force Ones. So yeah, I'm gonna go into uni. We've got a group talk and then hopefully most of day three, which I need to do sketchbook work in. And then we've got an evening lecture and then I'm gonna try and go to the gym after that. I've been working all afternoon and now I really need to tidy my room. Mm, that's what happens when I collage. So I'm in my dressing gown and I'm going to do a speed clean and tidy. Really need two for this room as well. Let's do this. Oh, the battery's running. Oh, this always happens. Here you go, you're running out of battery. Cool. Now the evening and I'm just planning my day in London tomorrow. I want to go to quite a few galleries and then I also need to go fabric shopping. So I'm just trying to work out like where's the best route to take to do all of them in the amount of time. I'm also seeing Zach at some point tomorrow which would be so nice. So yeah that's basically what I'm doing now and then I need to do some more sketchbook work or embroidery samples or just samples in general but I don't really have the fabric I want yet so I don't know For those of you that are interested this is the playlist that I've been working to recently new passenger playlist just love it off the light is something I
gonna get ready for bed early tonight so that I'm ready for London. I'm gonna get 8.55 train. Morning guys, it's Wednesday and I'm off into London. It's quite cold outside right now but it's going to get to like 23 degrees today. So I've kind of layered up and gone with some lightweight jeans. Then this cotton jumper from Free People. And then underneath I've got on this long sleeve from Bershka and a little tank top so I can just go to the tank top if I have to and these aren't too heavy as layers so that's what I'm going for and then shoes are just surprise surprise <laughs> my Nike Air Force so yeah let's go to London I know I didn't film much in London yesterday, but I had such a busy day and I got so much done. I was very happy. I hate it when I go to London and I feel like I've not really done anything. But I got up pretty early, went off. Um, I went to the v &A and I went to the Fashion from Nature exhibition and that was really good. And then I went to Angel and I went to this fabric shop called Ray Stitch, which do a range of like organic fabrics. So I looked at their organic fabrics, went to Berwick Street and I went to McCulloch and Wallace and the Cloth House which are like two of my favourite fabric shops and I got some samples from there and yeah then I met up with Zach and we went for a wagon mama. it was good and then I did some more fabric shops if you guys are interested in fabric shops in London or trimmings Fan New Trimmings is the most amazing shop for like beads and sequins and things like that and it's it's just off Oxford Street like it's down one of the lanes so I'd really recommend going there if you're interested in that and then after that we went to the Haywood Gallery which is in the South Bank Centre um, and it was just so good like we had so much fun um, me and Zach were both a bit delirious like really tired by the end of the day um, so there were loads of like sensory like things and funny mirror things and it was just so much fun but it was also really inspiring I've got a lot of cool ideas for my sketchbook now so yeah that was it and then Zach dropped me off at the station um, before he went back to his station um, and I got home about nine so it was a good long day in London yesterday today I have my personal tutorial which I'm feeling okay about now that I've been to London and I've got all of these ideas in my head. Um, so I'm gonna show her that. I've just still got so many ideas that I want to get down and I haven't had the time to just get down. Um, so I'll try and do those this afternoon, I think, but I'm also going to go Halloween shopping for some decorations this afternoon because I want to film some Halloween content. And also I just love Halloween and we tend to always decorate our flat, so gonna try and find some so this is my outfit for the day I'm wearing this jumper again from Zara I love this I get so many compliments on it it's just so warm and snuggly and then underneath I've got on this really cute super soft t-shirt from Brandy Melville and then these jeans are Zara they're like little flares and then my boots are Clarks so yeah I'm not gonna wear a coat today because I think it's gonna be quite warm it's nearly six I had a really good tutorial this morning, it was really positive and then I had coffee with some of my friends afterwards and then I also went to Poundland and picked up some Halloween decorations so I'll show you guys those in a sec. But yeah I'm about to go and make some dinner. I've been just printing out research and um, 
feel like not doing much this afternoon but I've been like ordering random bits of fabric doing lots of little bits so this evening is gonna be sketchbook work and doing little samples and things like that I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff I picked up in London yesterday from the fabric shops in case any of you are interested so this is the company that do the organic cotton they're called Ray Stitch and this is like a brushed cotton that's super soft this one is the one I'm most interested in which is a bamboo silk but it's 18 pounds a meter so I'm thinking about that one I thought it was nine pounds because it says nine pounds online but it's actually for half a meter it's really annoying how they do that and then this really nice little checked really lightweight soft organic cotton and then from the same shop they didn't have any samples of this so I got 10 centimeters and it's this amazing metallic um, I think it's viscous fabric and I just love it so much really think I'm gonna use this and it's 10 pounds a meter then I picked a few samples up from the color and Wallace um, I'm not going to use any of these because our project's about sustainability and these are kind of sustainable fibres but I don't think it's sustainable enough for how I want this project. <laughs> if you're wondering about this shop you just go in and they've got all these little like stands that you can chop little samples off and staple them on there. It's a really good way of doing things. And then finally from the cloth house which is probably my favourite fabric shop I just picked out a few fabrics these are all viscose apart from the top netting one which is probably nylon so I won't be using that one because it's not sustainable and this is the price of them all if you wanted to know expensive business this fashion design course and then also this part is not sustainable this is my favorite trimming shop in London it's called fan new trimming and I picked up a load of beads and pearls but yeah I love this shop so much I did a random little sample the other night with some I already had from there and then I decided to pick up some more and some different shapes now I'm going to show you guys what I got to decorate for Halloween first thing I have is a green skull it's actually a really nice green and I also picked up a bat um, this is the side you're meant to have it on but I don't really like the red eyes and it's got a feather falling off no oh it's really creepy actually then I got some tinsel this just has like skulls on it and then finally just some of these um, spider webs I just think this is the best decoration for Halloween they're just so simple and yet they look the most effective they've got little spiders in them that was my short but sweet Poundland Halloween haul and that came to like £7 I think. I'm really excited to decorate, I think I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. Here's my dinner for today, it looks really weird but I'm having chicken and tomato sauce and spaghetti <laughs> and cheese. And I'm going to sit at my desk and watch Friends. <laughs> so you guys are probably going to not believe me when I say that I've never seen Friends so I'm starting to watch it. Just got back from the gym. It's raining outside, but I've got the window open because I love the sound of traffic in the rain. But yeah, I'm gonna go and make some porridge now because I really fancy some and I'm starving. I didn't have anything to eat before the gym, which was silly. But it was very early and it's now like nine o'clock, so I'm gonna go and have some porridge and then get on with some filming today. Okay, so this is the area I'm gonna decorate because this is generally what you see when I film. So I've got some white tack and some. Um, Take sticks like that with. Start off with the trusty spider web. Ooh. Ooh. Now I've got the Halloween tinsel. I'm just going to put my little skull friend down here, I think. So there we go. That didn't take very long. My decorations are all up. This is a little sneak preview of what's coming next week. So look out for this. And this. I thought I'd show you the aftermath of filming a video. 
especially a makeup tutorial. <laughs> really sad, I haven't had to use lights in a long time, but it's getting too dark outside now, even in the daytime, to not use lights, which sucks. I also have some Halloween-y content for this video, so keep watching to see that. I've had a very exciting delivery arrive just now. I am working with H&M to show you guys some of their Halloween costumes from their divided range. As you guys know, I love H&M and when they contacted me asking if I wanted to show some of their Halloween stuff, I was like, excuse me? I was like, yes. You guys know how much I love Halloween and H&M, so this is kind of perfect. <laughs> There's a really great selection of costumes and just general Halloween style items on there, so I'm gonna get started show you guys everything I picked. So here's my humongous box from H&M. Okay, let's open up this box. The first thing we have is a clown costume. This is what the clown costume looks like. It has a really cool ruffle at the top and then it goes into this kind of sexy shorts, but not too short. Um, I'd probably wear this with like tights. I'm gonna try everything on in a minute. Um, have a play with everything. But yeah, this was like the first thing I added to my basket because I was like That's cool. <laughs> it also feels really nice quality. This was $24.99 so Pretty decent price for a good solid costume. This is what the back looks like. It's got a nice little split down the back. So that is my first costume. What do we have next? Uh, some leggings. I picked these up for a more casual Halloween look, maybe a day Halloween look. These were $14.99 and they are like faux leather leggings, very Halloween-esque. And then I bought a top to go with this. This also has matching leggings, which I very nearly got, but I didn't. But if you want matching leggings to this, there are some. So this little sweatshirt was $6.99 and um, it has little bones all over it. I picked mine up in a size large because I prefer my sweatshirts to be really oversized and it's going to look like my bones are all really <laughs> weird sizes but I just think it's so cool. Okay then the next costume I have is like a mummy costume. So this I also fell in love with and I kind of feel like I'd actually wear this on a night out, just normally. Um, it's kind of hard to show because it's all in pieces. <laughs> but it is basically a bodycon dress like this and it has a little tie around the neck and then it's got one sleeve with a little break in it. I'm really excited to try this on and see what it looks like. And this was 19.99. So again, really good price for a really cool costume. The next thing is something for people that maybe just don't want to dress up for Halloween but they want to look Halloween-y. Or people that like are going as a cat or something plain and they just want to do makeup. Then H&M do this really gorgeous cutout dress. Just bodycon, nice and simple. Goes nice and high on the neck. And this was $14.99. Excited to try this one on. I really want to see what it looks like. Now onto the accessories part. And you can see I kind of got a bit excited about the accessories. So, I think I accidentally picked up two pairs of rabbit ears. But I can give some to my friends. So this first one is just adorable. It's this little polka dot headband with a veil. I think those ears were $6.99 and then these ones are a little bit more expensive. I think these were $8.99. But these ears have the same little mini veil over the face and then they have really lacy ears. You don't even have to wear this bit over your face. You can put it at the back and have like a nice little hairstyle at the back. I've got some knee high socks. There's a grey pair and then just an all black pair obviously thought the all black pair would be the best to wear with like all of these little short skirts and dresses. These are going to be nice and handy for styling up my look. And then the last thing is a black wig. <laughs> because A, I was really curious to see what I look like with black hair. And B, black hair, black wigs, great for Halloween. So, that was everything in my haul. And now we can go and try them on. 
<laughs> this is such a cool little outfit. I paired it with some white boots. They've really made a mummy fashionable. <laughs> this is so cool. I even love how like the hand has got a little hole in. It's got a really nice zip down the side and I feel nice and hugged in. I really like this dress. So yes, this is the first costume. This is also really cool. I didn't wear it with tights. Um, I'm trying it with the over the knee sock look and boots. I think it looks pretty cool. This is making me so excited for Halloween. I love this, I love this ruffle. It fits so well. It just looks like that at the back. Yeah, I'm loving this little piece. These ears are so cute. And then I've got on the little basic black dress. It wouldn't have these little things, I need to cut them off. And then my shoe combination really doesn't go. <laughs> I was trying out the over knee socks with the white, but maybe if I roll them down it will be better. That's better. I kind of want to wear this little headband when it's not Halloween. So cute. These are really cool too. I feel like they're a little bit darker and a bit more dramatic. Just add a really cool factor to the outfit so quickly. I really like them. I'm gonna try the wig on next. I'm excited to see what this looks like. This is so weird seeing myself with short black hair. It is really handy that you can actually buy the wig with the costume on the same website. I like it. Now we have the final look which is more of the like day wear slash comfy outfit. I've got on a little long sleeve sweatshirt top and then the faux leather leggings which fit so well. They're super comfy, I was really worried about these not fitting but they fit really well. And then I've just paired it with my white boots and the wig. <laughs> But yeah, that is the last outfit. I would love to know which outfit you guys like the most. So comment down below which one you liked. I'm gonna put my top picks over on my Instagram so you guys can go over and see that if you want. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little H&M Halloween haul. I think it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed filming it, so I really hope you enjoyed watching it. This is gonna be my last outfit and little clip of this video. I feel like this is going to be quite a long video. <laughs> so it's currently raining but quite warm outside so this is the outfit I've gone for. I'm also going home today because I'm going to go to a flea market tomorrow near my grandma's and um, try and source some secondhand fabrics or clothes etc. So this is what I have on. I've got on this little thermal top from Brandy Melville. I really wish I'd picked up two now because I love it. And then this sort of Chet mini trench is from Zara and it also has a little hood. It has a nice big hood to keep the rain off. And then I've got on these old pull and bear jeans which are like boyfriend slash girlfriend style. And then guess what shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> so that is my outfit for today. So that's the end of this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you did and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.